literally the most ironic thing just happened to me so you guys know I made a video yesterday talking about how Google Chrome is absolutely terrible and how it screws up all the time on my Windows 10 uh, computer and it's really bad and I made that video talking you guys about that and how I was really ticked and I was triggered or whatever but literally the most ironic thing happened yesterday because I went to go upload that video and take a guess what happened page unresponsive oh my god Gosh, man, freaking Chrome sucks. Screw you, Chrome. Seriously, screw you, Google Chrome. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I got an awesome video for you guys today. So you guys, anyone want to take a guess out there what we're talking about? Yes, we're going to be talking about Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. And the reason I'm going to be talking to you guys about this is, if you recall, I made a video a couple of days ago talking about how Activision made lots and lots and lots of dough, sp more specifically like a billion dollars. Activision Blizzard made a billion dollars off micro microtransactions and all, and supply drops and loot boxes and all that stuff. And in that same article, it talked about how Infinite Warfare pre-orders are worse than they've ever been in a Call of Duty game. So the pre-orders are down really bad right now for Infinite Warfare. Obviously, we can see the hate. We can see the hate all over the place. And uh, I'm going to be talking, guys, about is this going to destroy Call of Duty? Will this be the death of Call of Duty? So that is what we're going to be talking about today. Without further ado, without me rambling any further, let's get straight into the video. Yeah! yeah. All right, guys, what is going on? It is the Tempered Wolf, the one and only gameplay commentator with a temper. And today, like I said, we're going to be talking about the death of Call of Duty. So this is going to be very, very interesting commentary because I'm going to be debating back and forth whether this is actually going to destroy Call of Duty. And personally, I'm going to go out there and tell you guys right away that obviously... I mean, this game's hated. I, this game is absolutely hated. I mean, I don't know if you guys have looked at the pre-order... Not the pre-orders. Screw me. Uh, I don't... If you guys have looked at the, um, the dislike ratio on the Infinite Warfare trailer, it went up another million. So, it's at 3 million dislikes. Well, I made a video previously talking about how much it's disliked. And... Uh, y you know, I told you, I mean, and now it's at 3 million dislikes. That's crazy. And obviously, I've talked about this before. I made video, I made a video a couple, like, a week ago or something, talking about dear haters of Infinite Warfare, something like that. And I talked to you guys about how to just stay on the bright side. And Infinite Warfare, I told you guys, Infinite Warfare is going to be a great game and all that. And I told you guys, just stop hating on it. Just wait and see what it's actually going to be like until you... It's, until you actually wait until you see gameplay before you actually start hating i talked about that in that video this video is going to be a lot different because in this video i'm going to be talking to you guys about is infinite warfare will this destroy the call of duty franchise is this the end of the call of duty franchise because infinite warfare obviously it's gained so much hate right now Everybody, I mean, the pre-orders are way, way, way down, and is this going to hurt the Call of Duty franchise? In my personal opinion, no. I don't really think this is going to hurt it, because Call of Duty is a great game. Everybody's going to want to play this game. I'm telling you what, guys. Like, literally, I, I have to buy this game. I've already pre-ordered the Legacy Edition. I have no choice, because literally, Black Ops 3 is so dead right now. Holy crap. I don't know if you guys have jumped on Black Ops 3, but I just, I have no will to play that game. That's why you guys are watching Overwatch gameplay. I do have Call of Duty gameplay, but I do like to, like, you know, rotate the gameplays every single day. Rotate the games I play every single day. But... I mean, Black Ops 3 is so dead. Oh my gosh, I tried to I tried to play that game, and I'm just like, uh, like it's just so dead. It's so hard for me to play. But anyways, what I'm trying to say here, guys, is Infinite Warfare. I mean, I've already told you guys, it's gonna be a great game. I love Infinity Ward. I think they do a wonderful job. And really, I'm not really too concerned with this. I mean, it, it is kind of concerning that the Activision CEOs aren't concerned. I mean, if you guys uh, look, they even commented and said, Oh, we're not going to worry about it. People people just see at COD XP, at the COD XP, the multiplayer reveal, then the pre-orders will go up. That's literally what the Activision CEO said. He's like, oh, I'm not worried. I'm like, oh, you might want to be a little worried. I mean, it has 3 million dislikes. Like, 
that's pretty concerning. If I was the Activision CEO, I would be uh, I'd be making some calls to Infinity Ward. If you guys know what I'm saying, like like I'd be making some calls that something needs to change here. But obviously, Space Warfare is way, way, way too far in the future. Not Infinity Ward, and everybody's not listening to the community. We want to see boots on the ground, boys. Um, I mean. It's it, it's really hated right now, and you know it is it is what it is. I don't think this is gonna destroy the franchise. I mean, COD Ghost was a huge screw up. Everybody hated that game. We're still here. There's still Call of Duties being made. If any Call of Duty would have ruined the franchise, it would have been Advanced Warfare. All right, that game. Holy crap, that is not Call of Duty. I, when I played Advanced Warfare, I'm like, how is this even trademarked under Call of Duty? Like, what the heck? But, um, yeah, if any game was going to ruin the franchise, it would have been Advanced Warfare. I promise you guys, I've been playing Call of Duty since 2011. I have over five years of experience playing Call of Duty, and I just know for a fact it's still going to live strong. Infinite Warfare, you know, it, it's... We're just going to have to wait and see, see how it pans out. I think COD XP is going to be so, so, so fun. I cannot wait to go. I can't go. It's in Los Angeles, but I cannot wait to watch and see some multiplayer gameplay. Oh, my gosh, dude. It's so far away, but cannot wait. Infinite Warfare is three months away, and, you know, we're just going to have to wait and see, see how it pans out, but like I said, you know, it's not going to ruin Call of Duty, but definitely comment in the comment section below. Do you guys think the Call of Duty is dying right now? Because, it, you know, it it's a good argument. I mean, the pre-orders are down. Infinite Warfare trailer has is the second most disliked video on all of YouTube. It's definitely a good... I mean, you can make the argument that Call of Duty is on the decline of dying because, as we all know, unfortunately, everything in this world comes to an end, so... We don't know. I mean, call. I don't know where Call of Duty is going to be going, but we'll just have to wait and see. See how it pans out this year. See how COD XP goes. And the Activision CEO says once we see that gameplay that everybody's going to change. But, you know, I have no idea. I don't really know what's going to happen. But hopefully the Infinite Warfare pre-orders go up from the COD XP because they're down right now. And it's really hurting the franchise. So... Hopefully something changes here, and hopefully it's a lot better than COD Ghost and Infinite... <laughs> Holy... Infinity Ward can resurrect themselves and save themselves from that COD Ghost disaster that everybody hated for some reason. I don't know about you, but I love that game. I didn't really see much wrong with it. But yeah, that's what I have for you guys today. Definitely comment below what you guys think. Do you guys think Call of Duty is dying, or do you think that Call of Duty is going to be stronger than ever? I'm really interested to see what you guys have to say in the comment section below. Thank you guys all so much for watching today's video. I cannot thank you guys enough for that. And and if you guys are brand new in the channel, I just want to quickly say, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You will be an official member of the Hashtag Wolfpack. There is nothing to lose. And if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure to smack that like button. It would be greatly appreciated. And without further ado, this has been The Tempered Wolf. And I will see you guys next time. I'm out of here. Peace out.